Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. Welcome to the championship round of the 29th Nevada Science Bowl. We've got the best and brightest high school students answering extremely difficult and complicated math and science questions with not only cash prizes for their school on the line, but also an all-expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. to compete in the Department of Energy's National Science Bowl later this year. The first place team here today will win $5,000 for their school's math or science program. The two teams competing for the title, Nevada Science Bowl champion, have gotten here after more than 10 rounds of questions and answers from a field of 32 teams representing schools from throughout Nevada and from Utah. Each team has four members at the table with coaches allowed to substitute players in the second half of the round. In the classroom competition throughout the day here at Vegas PBS, we began each round by introducing ourselves on the moderating and judging side along with the young men and women at the competition tables. We also have them answer a silly question to kind of lighten the mood from the sometimes intense competition. So let's meet our finalists. Team A is from Davidson Academy. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you for being here today. As you introduce yourselves, starting with position A1, tell us your name, your grade, and your favorite musical instrument if you have one. A1. Hi, my name is Amhir Subramanian. I'm in 12th grade and my favorite musical instrument is the violin. Excellent. Thank you. A Captain. Hi, I'm Derek Chen. I'm a junior from the Davidson Academy, and my favorite instrument's the piano. Piano, thank you. A2. Hi, I'm Arvind Murthy. I'm a freshman, and my favorite instrument is also the piano. Piano, very good. A3. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm a senior at the Davidson Academy, and my favorite instrument is also the piano. Excellent. That's Team A, the Davidson Academy. All right, let's meet Team B from Clark High School. Same procedure. Test your buzzer. Tell us your name, your grade, and your favorite musical instrument if you have one. B1. Hi, my name is Max Tandon. I'm a junior at Clark High School, and I'd say my favorite instrument is the guitar. Excellent. B, Captain. Hi, my name is Alex Bean. I'm a senior at Clark High School, and my favorite musical instrument is the viola. Viola, excellent. B2. Hi, my name is Shadman Kabir. I'm a senior at Clark High School, and my favorite instrument is also the viola. Viola, very good. And B3. Hi, my name is Brandon Dink. I'm a senior at Clark High School, and my favorite instrument would have to be the acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar. All right. Well, as I mentioned, there are two eight-minute halves here at the Science Bowl. At our halftime break, Sorry, no musical performances or expensive commercials. What we will do between halves is explain more about the Science Bowl and how these students got here. Timekeeper, do we have eight minutes on the clock? All right, let's get started. Question one is a toss-up for both teams. The category is energy. This is a multiple choice question. Slack National Accelerator Lab scientists are studying the electrocyclic reactions that C6H8 can undergo. Which of the following could not be the identity of this molecule? W, 1, 3, cyclohexadiene. X, 1, 4, cyclohexadiene. Y, 1, 3, 5. And we will go with A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is energy. This is a short answer question. Department of Energy supported researchers are studying nitrogenase enzymes. What two metals are most commonly used to allow these enzymes to function? You have 20 seconds. Platinum and palladium. Incorrect, we're looking for molybdenum and iron. No bonus points, next is question two, a toss up for both teams, the category is physics, this is a short answer question. Consider two parallel current carrying wires that are exerting a magnetic force on one another. If the current in each wire were tripled, by what factor would the force, and that is B, Captain. Nine. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team B only. The category is physics. It's a short answer question. Vince is flying in his spaceship when he notices a 15 kilogram probe experiencing an apparent 30 newton force in the same direction that he's traveling. He then notices that his ship's thrusters are on, causing his spaceship to accelerate forward at three meters per second squared. In Newtons, what's the magnitude of the true net force acting upon the probe? You have 20 seconds. Uh, 75. 
That is correct. You've got bonus points. Next is question three, a toss-up for both teams. Categories math, it's a multiple choice question. Consider the polynomial equation 12x cubed minus 11x squared plus 18 equals zero. According to the rational root theorem, which of the following is not a possible rational root of this equation? W, negative nine. X, one ninth. Y, we'll go with B, Captain. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team B only. The category's math. This is a short answer question. The perimeters of two squares differ by 16 inches and their areas differ by 92 square inches. What's the perimeter in inches of the larger square? You have 20 seconds. Forty-four. That is incorrect. We're looking for 54. No bonus points. Next is a toss-up for both teams. Question four, categories biology, a short answer question. What type of enzyme facilitates joining of DNA fragments whose phosphodiester, and that is A, Captain? Ligase. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The categories biology, a short answer question. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of temperate phages. One, they can replicate via the lytic cycle. Two, they can replicate via the lysogenic cycle. Three, they can form a prophage. You have 20 seconds. Two. That is incorrect. The answer is all. No bonus points. Next is question five, a toss-up for both teams. Categories chemistry, a short answer question. A sample of an ideal gas has a volume of one liter when its pressure is 10 atmospheres. What will its volume be in liters when the pressure is reduced and that is A, Captain. Two. That is incorrect. That is an interrupt. I'll finish reading the question for Team B only. What will its volume be in liters when the pressure is reduced to four atmospheres? B2. 25. Pardon me? 25. That is incorrect. The answer was 2.5. We move to question six, a toss-up for both teams. The category is Earth and Space, a short answer question. To two significant figures, if a star's magnitude decreases by one unit, by what number has its brightness been multiplied? B2. Two. That's incorrect. A3. Three. Incorrect, the answer 2.5. We move to question seven, a toss-up for both teams. The category's energy, a short answer question. Researchers at Brookhaven National Lab are using the star detector to track particles in collisions of heavy nuclei. What phase of matter involving particles of subunit charge is formed when these nuclei collide at high energies? That's B2. Plasma. Incorrect. A3. Quarks? No, we're looking for quark gluon plasma. We move to question eight. It is a toss-up for both teams. The category's math. It's a short answer question. A pair of 12-sided dice, each with the numbers one through 12 printed on the faces, is rolled. What's the probability that the two numbers rolled are different? That's A3. 11 over 12. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category's math. It's a short answer question. In the expansion of the cube of the binomial 2a minus 3b, what is the coefficient of the a squared b term? You have 20 seconds. Minus 36. That is correct. You've got bonus points. Next is question nine, a toss-up for both teams. Category, Earth and Space, a multiple choice question. Which of the following rock composition changes could not describe a magma that is cooling and undergoing differentiation? W, peridotite to gabbro. X, peridotite to diorite. Y, granite to gabbro. Z, diorite to granite. That's B3. W. Incorrect. That's A1. Why? Why is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is Earth and Space. It's a short answer question. In the Norwegian cyclone model, cold type and warm type are classes of what type of front? You have 20 seconds. Occluded. 
occluded. That is correct. You've got bonus points. Next is question 10, a toss-up for both teams. Categories biology. This is a short answer question. Aside from ATP, what other high-energy intermediate is produced through glycolysis? That is A, Captain. NADH. Yes. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category is biology. It's a multiple choice question. Jan is choosing a type of microscopy to resolve objects in her sample that are 0.2 nanometers apart. Which of the following types of microscopes should she use? W, differential interference contrast. X, fluorescence. Y, transmission electron. Z, super resolution. You have 20 seconds. Why? Y is correct, you got bonus points. We move to question 11, a toss-up for both teams. Categories physics, it's a short answer question. PET, or positron emission tomography, is a type of imaging that relies on two gamma rays being emitted in opposite directions. This is generated through what process? B, Captain. Annihilation. That is correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for Team B only. The category is physics. It's a short answer question. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of the work done by a conservative force. One, work is independent of the path taken. Two, work is sometimes irreversible. Three, if an object returns to its starting point, the total work done is zero. You have 20 seconds. One and three. That is correct, you've got bonus points. Next is a question 12, a toss up for both teams. The category is chemistry, a short answer question. What's the IUPAC name for the simplest alkyne? That is B1. Methane. Pardon me? Methane. That is incorrect. A, Captain. Ethine. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category is chemistry, a short answer question. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of the heat capacity for all ideal gases. One, heat capacity is independent of temperature. Two, a diatomic ideal gas will have a higher heat capacity than a monoatomic ideal gas. Three, CP is higher than CV. You have 20 seconds. All of them. That is correct. You've got bonus points. Okay, it is time to take a break. As we do, we want to recognize the people and organizations that help put this amazing event together. That includes the dozens of volunteers who have been here at Vegas PBS since the sun came up this morning, acting as timekeepers, rules judges, scientific judges, moderators, room monitors, and messengers in classrooms throughout the day. None of this would be possible without the generous support of sponsors who will now be recognized in our halftime report. The Nevada Science Bowl is Nevada's premier academic competition for high school students from all over the region. When the smartest students gathered for the Nevada Science Bowl this year, it marked our 29th annual competition. More than 30 teams face off answering fast-paced, difficult questions and problems crossing all science and math disciplines, biology, chemistry, earth science, physics, space, energy, mathematics, and more. The top 12 teams win cash prizes for their school's math or science department, including a $5,000 first prize for the championship winner. The winning team also gets to represent Nevada at the Department of Energy's National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. Nevada Science Bowl is staffed by dozens of volunteers giving up their time to help our community and prepare the next generation of scientists and researchers. Nevada Science Bowl enjoys support from donors like the National Nuclear Security Administration Nevada Field Office. That's the branch of the Department of Energy responsible for the Nevada National Security Site, formerly the Nevada Test Site. The site is managed and operated by Mission Support and Test Services, or MSTS, another big supporter of Nevada STEM education and Nevada Science Bowl. Other sponsors include SOC, Navarro, the Department of the Interior, and Vegas PBS. Hey, Captain. Everyone works together to make Nevada Science Bowl the premier academic competition for high school students in Nevada. At registration on Friday afternoon, students and coaches receive Nevada Science Bowl collectibles and keepsakes. Each school takes home a plaque celebrating their involvement in Nevada Science Bowl. The competition starts early on Saturday morning when the best and brightest high school teams square off. 
One by one, more than two dozen teams advance or face elimination. And finally, it all comes down to two teams squaring off in the championship match to decide who will take home the Nevada Science Bowl championship banner. So now, as we head into the final eight minutes of the competition, the score, Davidson 64, Clark 36. Before we start this second half, we want to meet our new players from Team A. As you test your buzzer, please tell us your name, your grade, and your favorite musical instrument if you have one. A1. Hello, my name is Tyler Burkhart. I'm a senior at the Davidson Academy, and my favorite musical instrument would be the oboe. The oboe, very good. Any new players for Team B? Everybody's the same. Well, I neglected to mention my own personal favorite musical instrument. I'm a flute fan. All right. Oh, one last thing before we start the second half. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of the students who participated in the Nevada Science Bowl. This is not the kind of event where you just show up and hope for the best. These sharp young men and women have been studying and practicing for weeks and months. Please, a well-deserved round of applause for the students' parents and their teachers and coaches who've helped them on this journey. <laughs> Mr. Timekeeper, do we have eight minutes on the clock? We do. Let's go. Question 13 is a tosser for both teams. The category's biology is a short answer question. What nematode commonly used as a model organism is characterized by occurrence of exactly 131 instances of apoptosis during its development? That's B2. Tapeworm? Incorrect. That's A, Captain. Roundworm. No, we're looking for elegance. We move to question 14, a toss-up for both teams. The category is energy. It's a short answer question. Scientists at Oak Ridge National Lab are using neutron scattering to study the structure of long filamentous structures that compose most of the fungal body. What's the term for these structures? And that's B2. Sporanogen? Incorrect. We're looking for hyphae. We move to question 15, a toss-up for both teams. The category is Earth and Space. It's a multiple choice question. A star is burning neon. As a result, which of the following elements is this star most likely to be producing? W, helium. X, magnesium. Y, iron. Z, carbon. That's B2. Z. Z is incorrect. A3. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is Earth and Space. Now, this is a short answer question. Sometimes the two different stars in a binary system cannot be resolved, but the light emitted by the system has two obviously different spectra superimposed. What's the term for this type of binary system? You have 20 seconds. Spectroscopic. That is incorrect. We were looking for spectrum binary. We move to question 16. It's a toss-up for both teams. The category is physics. It's a multiple choice question. Which of the following conditions could describe an unstable equilibrium, but not a stable equilibrium? W, the potential energy is zero. X, the first derivative of potential energy with position is zero. Y, the second derivative of potential energy with position is positive. And that is A2. Z. Z is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category is physics. You got a short answer question. Follow a hollow pipe that is open on one end, closed on the other. The second overtone will have a frequency that is what multiple of the fundamental frequency? You have 20 seconds. Three. That is incorrect. The answer, five. We move to a toss-up for both teams. The category is chemistry. This is question 17, a short answer question. What molecule is the acid anhydride of carbonic acid? That's B2. CO2. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for team B only. The category is chemistry. It's a short answer question. You empirically determine the mass percent of carbon in a pure sample is 80% plus or minus 10%. Identify all of the following three molecules that satisfy this condition. One, C2H6. Two, C3H8. Three, C6H6. You have 20 seconds.
one and two. That is correct. You've got bonus points. Now we move to question 18, a tosser for both teams. Math is the category. Short answer question. What's the partial derivative with respect to y of the expression? x to the fifth, y to the eighth. B2. 8x to the 5th, y to the 7th. That is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team B only. Categories math, it's a short answer question. What's the polynomial with least degree, real coefficients, and leading coefficient 1 that has, a, that has negative 7, negative 9i as a 0? Do you have 20 seconds? x cubed minus 7x squared plus 81x minus 567. Incorrect. We're looking for x squared plus 14x plus 130. Question 19 is a tosser for both teams. Biology the category. Short answer question. Damaged organelles can be broken down in vesicles through what lysosomal process? That's A, Captain. Autophagocytosis. That is incorrect. Oh, and then I take that back. What was your answer? Autophagocytosis. That is correct. We have a bonus question now for Team A only. The category is biology, a short answer question. In the Hershey Chase experiment, sulfur 35 was used to label the proteins in bacteriophages. Into which two amino acids were these labels incorporated? You have 20 seconds. Cysteine and therionine. That is incorrect. We're looking for cysteine and methionine. We no bonus points. The next question is number 20, a toss-up for both teams. Categories, chemistry, a short answer question. What's the electrochemical quantity used to measure the tendency of a substance to gain electrons? That's B2. Electron affinity. Electron affinity. That's incorrect. Uh, A1. Electronegativity. No, we were looking for reduction potential. We move to question 21, a toss-up for both teams. Categories, earth and space, a multiple choice question. Which of the following best describes why gases like hydrogen and helium can escape Earth's atmosphere, while gases like oxygen and nitrogen do not? W, hydrogen and helium are primarily produced in the upper atmosphere. X, hydrogen and helium have a higher average velocity. Y, hydrogen and helium will go with A3. X. Pardon me? X. X is correct. We have a bonus question now for Team A only. The category is Earth and Space. A multiple choice question. Changes in which of the following properties are responsible for most major seismic wave discontinuities in the Earth's interior? W, pressure. X, temperature. Y, mineral phase. Z, convection velocity. You've got 20 seconds. W. W is incorrect. We're looking for Y, mineral phase. Next is question 22, a toss-up for both teams. Categories math, it's a short answer question. What's the area of a triangle with vertices at the three points with coordinates? 1, 4, 1, 7, and 9, 8. And that is A3. 12. Yes, a bonus question now for team A only. The category is math. It's a short answer question. Four ten-sided dice, each with the numbers 1 through 10 pinned on the face, are rolled. What's the probability that at least two of the numbers rolled are the same? You have 20 seconds. Sixty-two over one twenty-five. Yes, you've got bonus points. Next is question twenty-three, a toss-up for both teams. The category is physics, a multiple choice question. Which of the following is the best description of Brehm's straw lung? W. Splitting of atomic energy levels in the presence of a magnetic field. X. Radiation emitted due to the deceleration of We'll go with B, Captain. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team B only. The category is physics. It's a short answer question. Rank the following three materials at standard temperature and pressure in order of increasing dielectric constant. One, air. Two, liquid benzene. Three, glass. You have 20 seconds.
Uh, air, glass, liquid benzene? That is incorrect. We were looking for air, liquid benzene, and glass. No bonus points. We have come to the end of uh, this match. Let's find out who won. The final score of the 2020 Nevada Science Bowl, Davidson with 94 to Clark's 58. Now, before we congratulate our champions and send them off to Washington, D.C., let's take a moment to recognize our second place team and wish, this, and wish them with this wonderful trophy and plaque and a check for $2,500 for the math and science programs at Clark High School. And also thanks to their coach, Chuck Bean. Great job, you guys. All right. Now to the winners of the Nevada Science Bowl. They also get a great trophy and plaque to display at their school, ribbons, medals for each of the students, and a check for $5,000 for the math science programs at Davidson Academy. Congrats also to Coach Brett Giusti. Best wishes to Davidson as they head to our nation's capital for the National Science Bowl. And we'll see you right back here next year for the 2021 Nevada Science Bowl on Vegas PBS. Good night.